I've been coding now for over 12 years and there's a lot of advice that I wish I heard when I was starting out, so I wanna share that with you today. Now, the first piece of advice that I can't emphasize enough is that anytime you wanna learn something new, you need to attach some kind of goal to that. You need to know why you wanna learn this and what kind of outcome you're actually trying to achieve. I see often a lot of people jump into languages like Python, or they learn a new framework, or they go into AI or machine learning. When I ask them why they're doing that, they really don't have a good answer. Maybe someone brought it up, they thought it's the new wave, it's a big trend, it's something that they just need to know, but they don't have any kind of outcome attached to that. And because of that reason, they don't really know if they're making progress towards where they actually wanna go. And it's very difficult to stay motivated because day by day, they have nothing to track their progress against. They don't know if they're actually working towards a goal. Now I've made this mistake many times, especially early on when I was learning how to code and I jumped between so many languages and frameworks. I learned Python, I learned JavaScript, I learned PHP, I learned HTML, CSS, I learned C Sharp, I tried to get into game dev, I started building mobile apps because I didn't really know what I wanted to do within software development. I wasn't sure if I wanted to land a job, I wasn't sure if I wanted to maybe build a startup or do some cool app on the side and I just did all of these different things and I never really got good at any one of those different areas because I kept jumping between the next thing and the next thing and the next thing without a solid goal in mind. So I challenge you while you're watching this video, ask yourself, what am I learning right now? And why am I learning that? What is the end goal? Is it to land a job? Is it to get an internship this summer? Is it because you wanna run a tech startup? Is it just because coding is fun and interesting? These are all valid reasons, but you need to have a real solid goal in mind. And I promise you that's gonna help you tremendously. Now, the next major thing I wish I knew a lot earlier in life is that you should focus on becoming a problem solver first and a programmer second. At the end of the day, what makes a great software engineer is someone that can solve problems, someone who can get stuff done, who can figure it out. If you've worked at a tech company before, then you know there's always one or two people on your team who are just the go-to guys, the people who can get stuff done. Yes, they have a lot of experience, they know how to code, they probably worked in tons of different languages, but it doesn't even matter what the problem is, you know that if you give it to them, they're gonna figure it out. And that's because they're a great problem solver and that's the core skill set they've worked on pretty much their entire life. It doesn't matter what the issue is, a lot of times, even if it's not related to software development, they can figure out a solution because that's what they've trained their brains how to do. Now the implementation comes afterwards in terms of writing it in this language or this framework or using this tool set or this new library. These are merely tools that help you solve the ultimate problem. So don't get too attached to a particular language or a framework or some new tool set that you're using. Really just focus on training your brain to solve difficult problems, becoming obsessed with doing that and just figuring stuff out. Being the person who can get stuff done no matter what and who can transition easily into different tools because at the end of the day, that's all they are tools that help you solve a problem. Now this next tip is especially relevant and something I really wish I knew because it would have propelled me so much further and that's that you need to find a mentor fast. It's one thing to go and watch videos like this and learn all of the resources online, but having someone in the real world that has experience that you can talk to is completely invaluable. Now I found this out when I started working at Microsoft. I was 19 years old, you know, I had my ego, I had my YouTube channel, I thought I'm this great programmer, awesome software developer, and then I had a mentor assigned to me. And we started doing some pair programming, I started watching how he was working, and really quickly I realized, damn, this guy is way further ahead of me, I've got a long way to go, and there's so many areas that I need to improve in that I just didn't even think about until I saw this guy for even five or 10 minutes. So you need to have a mentor, you need to have someone you can look up to, someone who can guide you, and someone who can really just share with you, you know, years and years worth of experience that you can't get any other way. So the sooner you can find someone that's higher skill level or kind of further in their career than you, I think the better it is, and I really wish I had gone out of my way to do this earlier in life, and I did actually have a lot of opportunities to be able to have mentors, and I kind of turned them down or I didn't prioritize them. And if I were to go back, I would have done that a lot sooner, and I think that really would have propelled me significantly faster and further in my career. Now with that in mind, I am actually gonna be opening up kind of a mentorship-like program in the next few days from the time this video is released. Now I'm gonna be having 10 spots here. This is something brand new. I've never done anything like this before and I'm opening the wait list right now. So if you want to join that, you can fill out a form linked in the description. And as a thank you, I'll give you access to an exclusive video that talks about leveling up, secrets to software development, all of that kind of stuff. I don't want this to be too promotional. I only want people that are super serious here. Again, this is a brand new thing for me. I've never offered any kind of 
one-on-one -on -one or mentorship like stuff in the past. So we're doing 10 spots. And if you want to be considered for that, again, click that link below. Now, this next piece of advice I think is going to be relevant to a lot of you here, even if you're more advanced in your career, and that's to not overcomplicate stuff and just to get shit done. Now, I'm just being real here because a lot of times as software engineers, we like to over-engineer, do these crazy solutions, have this advanced tech stack, do this really complicated function that runs in you know linear time, even though it takes us 30 hours more to write it. Like we just always make things more complicated than they need to be. When in reality, most of the time, a simple solution, even if it's not the most efficient in the world, just works, it gets it done. In my experience, you can spend so much time working on things that really just don't matter when you can get 90% of the way there and it's just good enough for what you need to do. Now, obviously, use your judgment here. In certain situations, you need to make the best possible thing that you can. But a lot of times, especially when you're spinning up MVPs, when you're working in startup environments, you just wanna get something out there. You wanna get something that works, that's decent, but you don't need to make it so advanced and so complicated and really give yourself so much extra work just to kind of show off or kind of pump your own ego. I made this mistake early on in my career. I would always make things, you know, the best possible way, do this really complex framework or make, you know, my own custom hard-coded server because I just didn't want to use the framework and I wanted to write it myself when really I could have saved so much time and so much headache by just focusing on getting it done first and afterwards optimizing it and making it better if that was even necessary. Now, the last point, and this is really the most important and what's going to progress you the furthest in your career is to build hard stuff. Look, the only way you get better at anything is by doing something that's difficult, right? We talk about the gym, you gotta lift heavier weights. We talk about programming, you gotta build harder stuff. Get outside of your comfort zone. Build projects you never thought you'd be able to possibly complete. Find something really complex like Git, for example. Build that yourself. Go to some really complex website, make a clone of it. Do something that's just so advanced you never thought you'd be able to possibly do it. That's where you're gonna learn the most. And even if you don't finish it or get it done or you fail, it's still a great learning experience. The times I've leveled up the most as a developer is when I've worked on a project I had no idea how to build. I had to persevere, I had to overcome challenge after challenge after challenge. I had bugs I was stuck on for days and days, but I finally found the solution and I was able to move forward. That's how I trained my problem solving, that's how I got better at programming, and that's how I ultimately became a better software engineer. A lot of the videos you see on this channel, they weren't easy to make. They took me many hours, sometimes days of preparation because I didn't know what I was doing at first and I had to figure it out in order to be able to articulate it and explain it and make sure you guys get some value from the video. This YouTube channel has challenged me to make more complex projects, share interesting things online, and also be able to explain what I'm doing and teach it to you, which is really why I believe I've gotten better and better as a developer over the years. So anyways, guys, that's it. That's the advice I have for you. I hope you found some value in this video. And if you did, subscribe for more.